the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the second day of February is always special. It is 40 days after the solemnity of the birth of Jesus on Christmas. And according to Jewish tradition, 40 days after birth, the firstborn male must be brought to the temple to be presented to the Lord. So today, we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer our prayers and intentions on this important day. And as we are going to celebrate this Eucharist, let us prepare, let us acknowledge our sins and failures, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I have the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest, highest and, and on earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with the minds made pure through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen our reading from the prophet Malachi. The Lord God say this, Look, I am going to send my messenger to the prepare a way before me. And the Lord are seeking will suddenly enter his temple. And the angel of the covenant whom you are longing for, yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Who will be able to resist the day of his coming? Who will remain standing when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire and fuller's of alkali. He will take his seat as refiner's and purifier's. He will purify the sons of Levi and refine them like gold and silver. And then and they will make this offering to the Lord as it should be made. The offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be then be welcomed 
by the Lord as in former days, as in the years of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. O gates, lift up your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of the glory. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews. Since all children share the same blood and flesh, Jesus to share equally in it, so that his death he could take away all the power of the devil, who had power over death, and set free all those who had been healed in slavery all their lives by the fear of death. For it was not the angels that he took to himself. He took himself descent from Abraham. It was essential that he should in this way become completely like his brothers, so that he could be compassionate and trustworthy high priest of God's religion, able to atone for human sins, that is, because he has himself been through temptation, he is able to help others who are tempted. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, the light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the day came for them to be purified as laid on by the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what stands written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord and also to offer in sacrifice in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked, over, he looked forward to Israel's comforting and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God and he said, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people Israel. As the child's father and mother stood there wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, You see this child? He is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that 
the secret thoughts of many may be laid here bare. There was a prophetess also, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years. Her days of girlhood over, she had been married for seven years before coming before becoming a widow. She was now eighty-four years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with the fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the law required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the lamb without blemish who lives and reigns for ever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Holy Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. So we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The founderful holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the tea fall, so that they may become for us the party and plot of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with the confidence to the Father in the words of our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant to your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come only spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we going forth to meet the Lord obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is centered. Thanks be to God.